Microsoft just released an awesome update to the Power BI service. This update is gonna allow us to use Power BI like ChatGPT style. What does that mean? That means something like this where I can just ask questions in a generative text idea and Power BI service will generate responses. It will analyze whatever's on the page, however I have the visuals set up, like this dashboard, for example, which is pumped up with Ethereum and Bitcoin data. Well, if I just ask ChatGPT slash Copilot in the service, general questions around this, you'll see it generates responses. What is the greatest month variance? What is some bulleted insights? It's just gonna keep spitting information. This feature is awesome. I'm gonna show you how to unlock it and how to use it to get that chat GPT style interaction with your users using Power BI service. Let's go. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna talk through this data. I'm gonna show you then how to deploy and how to get this going with chat GPT insights on our Power BI service. All right, so first, what are we looking at? Uh, this is gonna be a data set I downloaded from Kaggle. It's gonna be cryptocurrency prices trending over time for Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a very simple visualization. It shows per month, the average price for Bitcoin, the average price for Ethereum, and then the trending over time of what that looks like. Of course, you can click and interact with stuff as you see fit, not a fancy dashboard. The point of this is not to have a fancy dashboard but to create and unlock a chat GPT style interactive ability with Copilot. So I'm gonna show you that. So what you do in order for this to work, you have to have a couple of things. Number one, you have to have a Power BI premium service and have a workspace set up in a premium capacity. Uh, you'll have to have your Power BI admin enable these two features that I just popped up on the screen here within the admin settings to allow the Copilot functionality within your Power BI service. Once you have that, you're all set. Microsoft released these two blogs. I'll put the links uh, actually in the description as well. And uh, what you'll see is they outline this features and functionality. The cool thing about it, it's not complex. There's not a trickiness to it. There's nothing difficult. It's just asking questions and getting information. So this is the data. I'm going to, I've already published it to our service. And now let's look at it. We're in the workspace. Okay, so here's our workspace. I just published our report to it. Test workspace one. You'll notice it has the premium icon for premium content. Now let's look at how to do this. So there's gonna be two layers to the, you have a workspace and a report deployed in a workspace that has this features and functionality. Then you also have an app that sits on top of it. Copilot now is in both places. I'm gonna show them to you. I'm gonna show you how to use it. I uh, will use more with the workspace. The same functionality and features happen uh, in the app as well. So it's super easy. We've enabled this stuff. You just open the report. You're gonna see now this new feature called Copilot. You just click it. They make this stuff easy. Let's move this screen, uh, my camera to the other side. And so check it out. Let's throw some questions at this stuff. So what it's gonna do, it's important to note that Copilot, the chat, the chat GPT style of this thing is gonna summarize whatever's on the screen. So not the data model behind it, not all the granular data, whatever's on the screen, but it will give insights. So what if I just start with something, they give prompts, you know, let's start with easy. So create a bulleted list of insights. We'll click this, it's gonna run. It takes a minute, it's processing, it's processing, and then it will spit back some stuff. All right, so just with that, we're gonna get details. I mean, it goes deep into it. Uh, you know, it shows price trends for Bitcoin and Ethereum, showed significant increase, totally. Uh, the trend for Bitcoin took an upward swing on October 22nd, 2023, with a rise of this amount uh, over some months. It's giving all this stuff to us. Okay, well, that's cool. That's a bulleted list of insights. Well, what if we try to ask it questions as well? And this is where this feature is so cool. It, it's literally allowing your end users to, to go chat GPTs on this thing with just generative insights. So maybe if I'm like, uh, what month had the largest increase in price for each coin? So the largest increase. So I'm gonna need to do variances across every single month, come up and we could build all these visuals to do all these things and calculate it. 
or visual interactions, you can actually check out the visual interactions video I posted a while ago. But look, there it is. All right, so Bitcoin month year. Here are the months that had the largest increase in price for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Like for 2029, price and increase, price and increase. You can then click to get into the details. It will link to chart. Look at that. What about this? What month had the uh, greatest decline in price? Let's run this. And again, so these are specific questions. And maybe the next question, I'm going to ask it to tell me something. Let's just try to break this thing together, see what happens. So uh, I asked what had the greatest decline. And we're going, we're going to go here and see this. So again, if we keep looking at this, okay, to understand the greatest decline, I've looked at price over and here are the top three declines. On May, we saw the greatest, and look, it's just spitting out all this stuff. On May, it went from 41,000 to 31,000, 23.47 decrease. It's smart. It's awesome. Uh, let's just try to ask it a crazy question. This might not work. Let's just see. Uh, tell me something significant about this data. I don't know. I made it up on the spot. Maybe it won't return anything important. Maybe it will. Uh, but let's see here. Tell me something significant. What's the deal? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Copilot. It's a cool feature. Think about any dashboards you have, anything you've created now, you can enable this and your users can get insights around the dashboards. Two major, so it gives a summary about what it's showing over the range has a noteworthy shift in late 2023, starting upwards, highest record average. Think about if you had a sales team. Think if you're analyzing all your sales individuals. Think about if you're analyzing fields or trending or pipelines or Salesforce analytics. There's so much stuff. So it's that easy. These new features are just understanding how to turn them on and use them. They're less complex. So that's how you can enable that. That's in the workspace. Another important feature, and it's important for you to understand this as well, is if we move, uh, let's go ahead and move the webcam back to the bottom right and say I go back to uh, this test workspace and uh, let's go to the app. Here we go. All right, here we are, we're in the app. So an app is different from a workspace. It's removed from the workspace. This functionality is also in an app. So an app is typically where your end users go to access information, uh, not your development team. You'll have multiple reports. Again, this is a test app in the test workspace, but check this out. The same copilot functionality is right here. Summarize the visuals on this page. All the same questions cannot be asked. I can close this. And copilot is available for your organizations. This is awesome. It's a complete chat GPT style interaction. Uh, unlock and use this feature, subscribe, hit like, ask any questions or comments. Uh, more content is going to be coming to you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.